everybody, Jason Levine from the Dice Tower. We're here at Essence Field 2015 with two people that we're not sure if we like or dislike after a pandemic legacy experience. We have Matt Leacock, Rob Davio, um, the esteemed designers of this game that hopefully all of you have gotten by now and started playing yourselves. So, how long did it take you guys to make this and what was the process? A couple of the days. Game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. About a year. Right? About a year, a year for design, another year for production. Yeah, it was yeah. Uh, 14. We talked right after Gen Con in 2013, and we turned it over just Spiel. about a year ago. Right? Yeah. yeah. Last, yeah. Uh, last year. A little over a year. year and three months. And this was your first collaboration, so yeah. you each worked on parts. Did you basically work on the pandemic part and you worked on the legacy <laughs> part, or was it a No, it, it was a collaboration. Yeah, yeah, true collaboration. Matt had a general idea of what the story would be. It changed a oh, lot. Oh, it evolved a lot. It evolved a lot, yeah, but at least it was a yeah. start, and we yeah. agreed that it would start with Pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to become a lot better at Pandemic really fast. <laughs> <laughs> and then I talked about some of my experiences making Risk Legacy, about how to add things and take things away and, and change things. And we just started talking and working on it bit by bit. Yeah. And obviously, well, I played it. We're not going to talk spoilers here, but you throughout it, there's highs, lows, there's kind of different levels, and when you worked on it, do you kind of want there to be ups and downs or roller coasters? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you've ever seen uh, screenwriters kind of plan out the arc of a season, it's like that, you know, yeah. like, how do you want to? We spent about, not quite as much time, we spent a lot of time talking about story, pacing, plot, three-act structure, character, motivation, as we did well, what's the, what does this card do for a power, right? Yeah. It was really trying to take what we'd like about a 12-episode TV show and turn it into a board game. Right. So. And um, we've heard mumblings. At this rate, are you guys working on a season two? We were working. Are we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> season three? <laughs> no. oh, we're not know. working that's, on that's season three. <laughs> we're not. And are you guys going to do any other collaborations together beyond this? Or? Oh, I don't know. It was well, a good I working mean, experience. Yeah, yeah. I, I like working with Matt. I'd be happy yeah. to. But we got, we got our plate full individually and together for the next couple of years. That's great. And what could, um, without giving away spoilers, what could um, people expect when they pull out the game? Season one? Yes, season one. Um, well, you're going to start playing something very close yeah. to Pandemic with just a few twists. So if you play Pandemic, our goal was to get you playing this game as fast as possible. And then after that, uh, new things will happen. evolve. You yeah, know things what will evolve. New things. What, what are you asking yeah. us for? You just yeah. lived it. Because I can't give away spoilers. I'm not giving away spoilers. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that either. Are you trying to trap us? <laughs> stay yeah. quiet for a year. And then, yeah. oh, my and favorite part up. is, no, that's, that's yeah, not. Yeah. There might be some censor marks in this no, interview no, as well. <laughs> not going to tell you. But, um... So far, has it been doing well? Obviously, this is the first week of sales. How has everything been going here for you guys in terms of sales, everything? Interest has been great. Yeah. And it's only been out two days. And I just checked a little while ago, and there are the usual early questions on Board Game Geek, like mm -hmm. how does this rule work, or clarifications, or people mentioning they played a couple games, and so far, so good. Yeah, a lot of excitement. Um, there's always there's just a tremendous amount of buzz in the booth, which is oh, really I, great. Oh, I mean, I can imagine. I know when we played it, we were the whole time were like, "This is amazing!" Like right now, it's my game of the year. It's oh, that great. good. Oh, thank you. And That's really nice here. This just the epic, epicness of the storyline what you guys put into it is incredible. And that took you about a year to work on it. it yeah, something like 14 months. Yeah, we really kind of thought about three-act structure, right? We read books on screenplay writing. I've uh, done a lot of... Um, I've been a writer, so I worked briefly in television, and I was in a sketch comedy group in college, and I was an advertising writer, and I've done a lot of sort of narrative writing in a very casual way, so it was good to kind of bring that to board game design. Yeah, took it like a crash course in story, talked to my friends at Pixar. It was uh, full on, yeah. And from your end, is there more pandemic coming in other ways other than the legacy now? Will you add more? Do you have more plans for? Yeah, there's there's plenty pandemic? to come. Plenty to come on pandemic. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you guys so much for first of all giving us heart attacks, <laughs> then making us breathe a sigh of relief, 
and um, for everything you did in this game because it's just incredible and congratulations on all the success so far. Hey, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. That's great. This is um, Jason Levine with um, Essence Spill 2015 um, Designer Spotlight. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.